So, hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the match from James Hurl and Patrick van der Boogaard. And they were playing Raymond van der Ende and Nigel Lloyd. I think we're now in the last 128, maybe 64. I think we, we are going to show you darts till around 7 o'clock. So it's still three hours of darting action. I think most of the men's competition are in the last 64 now. And here we see a Dutch international, Patrick van der Boogaard, an England captain, James Hurrell, and they pair up against Raymond van der Ende and Nigel Lloyd. They play Nigel and Raymond. They play the darts in the south of Holland, in the region of Rotterdam. Two good. Well, we don't have county in Holland, but let's say good county players. Played a lot of lo local tournaments. Here's Patrick van der Boer on the hockey. He's a Dutch international. And also plays in the same county as Raymond and Nigel, so the three guys know each other. trouble now he can't find it so there's a big finish for van der Boogaard so maybe you could say that Lloyd and van der Ende have six dars for one two eights let's see what he go for I think there's a single 18 so trouble 20 we went for the ball on 90 so 65 left but van der Boogaard has a big, big ask for one four eight two big travels no we can't find it Yeah, he finds one with the last one, but it's on Van the end of first on 65. So seven, so 58, 18, and tops one dart. Yes, that's a great checkout from Raymond Van the end there, and the pair of Van the end and Lloyd are one 0 up. Bit of issue on the TV lane. I don't know what's going on. The market is looking a bit confused as well. But we carry on, and it's Nigel Lowe to throw first. And they're 1 0 up against James Harrell and Patrick van der Boogaard. Also on the TV lanes at the moment. No, it's on the floor. Lorraine Height and Tori Kiewicz are two all at the moment against a pair from the Netherlands. Steady ton from Harold here. Well, his leg is really close for both of them, so let's see what Van the End and Lloyd can do. It would be quite a shock if they knocked them out, but maybe a lot of people don't know Van the End and Nigel Lloyd, but Nigel Lloyd is doing really well in the last couple of months. And Van the End, Raymond Van the End, he made it to the final a couple of years ago in the, I think it was the Torremolinos Open. So, he definitely can play darts. 
Nice 140 here from Van der Boogaard. Uh, this leg is so important. It's only best of five, so every travel counts. You see any outer boards as Wesley Brazier is warming up. The Windmill World Master Champion. He won this tournament a couple of weeks ago in this same venue. Look at James Hurrell. What a time to hit a 180. Well, all the time is it's always good to hit a 180, but on this time, at this time of the moment in the match, you're on 263. And you hit a 180 to leave. And your mate's 83. Oh, big slip up from the end of here. So from the Bogart first on 83, trouble 17. 66 left. He goes for the 16, I guess. Yes, bullseye. Oh, he hits a 25. Oh. From the end, they missed up a little bit. In the throw before, was only 66, so Lloyd on 160. No, he can't finish it. Maybe the ball with the last one. Yeah, it was good thinking. But Hurrell on 25 to make it one all. That's the easy part. Double eight. One dart to go, double four. No, he missed. Well, they just left 160. Now they're on 103. It's still not the best finish in the world, of course, but you never know. You only need one treble. And he finds the treble with a first dart. Yes, three. One dart to go for tops. Oh, my God. He hit a 65 in the first leg, and now he hits a 103. Raymond Van the end, and Nigel Lloyd a 1 0 up. Two darts at tops, and he hits them both. Unbelievable darts from Raymond Van the end. Eh? So, the Dutch international and the, and the captain of England are in trouble at the moment. Great darts from them. On the outer board, Lorraine Hyde and Tori Kewis are two all against the Dutch pair, and their opponents already have match darts to win the match. But it's Lorraine at the moment on number 14. I will give you an update in a couple of minutes. Oh, she missed. She missed a double, so your opponent, Romelain, is on five. All the matches in the ladies' competition are on Dart Connect. You can follow it to tv.dartconnect.com. a double as well so Tori again for double seven that will be a big shock if they're out going on between James and Raymond. I don't know why her was complaining though. So much of fun with this lag. Maybe it was someone from the audience, I don't know. Great odds from Van der Bogart. Leaves James 80 points when he comes back. And still, Lorraine Height and Tori Kewis. It's still too all. All of the ladies mix match stars at the moment. Forty call from Hurrell. So Patrick from the Mohat will return for tops. The only thing Lloyd can do is hit a 180 to put a bit of pressure on. Well, that's two travels. Why not to hit a 180? It's always time to hit a 180. What a moment for Nigel Lloyd. Patrick is a bit of pressure because you know Raymond Van Yenda hit a 65 with tops, he hit a 103 with tops. 
So, if he can find a trouble, but first, oh, that's a single ten far away. Oh, yeah. I have to put money on Raymond van Yenne if he hits a treble. Oh, it's an aqua dart. No, it was too much. It was too much for van Yenne. Mars 82, but hurdle on five. Five is not the easiest finish on the planet, but the one is the easy part. Oh my God, what happened between James and Raymond? There's, there's something going on. I don't know what's going on, but James is definitely not happy with it. Nice look. Ooh, there's a bit of anger on the stage. I love it. What is going on between James and Raymond? And I give you an update. Lorraine Hyde from Scotland and Tori Kewis from Australia. They're out. They lost to Karin Lion like higher and Fabian the Rommeling with 3 2. That is quite a shock. Lorraine Hyde and Tori Kewis are out. Ladies' competition that just played the last 16. I'll give you an update who was in the quarterfinals. The Dutch pair of Astrid Traubos and Vanessa Zuidema, Eileen de Graaf and Lorena Riedbergen. So, four Dutch ladies are already in the quarterfinals. Of course, the world champion, Bo Greaves and Dieter Happen, and Rianne O'Sullivan from Wales, and the lady from England, Suzanne Smith, they're in the quarterfinals. And maybe the surprise. Of the day so far, Karen Lion like higher and Fabiana Rommeling, they just beat Lorraine Hyde and Tori Kiewisch. So they will in the quarterfinals as well. And Alata Weyer and Anka Zelstra are in the quarters. Same as Natalie van Marm and Rose van der Velde. Rose van der Velde, who made it to the final of yesterday, warming up event. She lost to Lorraine Riedbergen. So we have seven pairs in the quarterfinal. There's one game still playing in the last 16. like we're gonna have a deciding lack in this match from the Bovat and Hurl are playing really well in this one. Uh, what I said before, it's a long day of darts, you have to play eight or nine games to make it to Sunday's final. Final is gonna be played on the big stage here on the Bonto Weaver and Nelson. It's gonna be all on YouTube, on the only YouTube page. Travels off on the Beauvoir here, but I guess they have a bit of time in this lag. Um, when you watch it as a spectator, maybe you don't know all the players, but it's a good standard, it's a good game, and I love a bit of anger on the stage. Travel 20 for double 12. No, they missed double 12, but that's a cool return from the Beauvoir to return for double 12. Maybe Van der Ende can put some pressure on. Yeah, that's one trouble, maybe one more. Oh, the one is not really handy. So here is Van der Bohart, double 12, will bring us all to a deciding leg. It's a good marker. Yeah, it's a good dart from Van der Bohart. Great dart from the Dutch international. And at this standard in this game, this match deserves a five and final flag. So here we go. It's her role to throw first. Yeah, he 
Find your trouble with the last one. And no troubles for Lloyd here. No. From the Bogart, you can find some troubles. They're in a big advantage here. And again, no troubles for the pair of Lloyd and Van de Ende, so Hurl and Van de Bogart have a big advantage here. And only 45 for Hurl, so Lloyd needs scrabbles. Yes, that's one. Only a ton. Yeah, every trouble counts in this part of the match. That's how you want to start it. Deciding lag. Score is equal. On the Bohart, bang, first start in the trouble. And then it's only a ton. Same for Van Ende here, first dart was in the trouble and it was only a ton. So here is Hurrell. He's looking for more. First dart is in. That's two big troubles for Hurrell here. Good score from the England captain. Oh, look at that, what a moment. Oh, what a moment to win a 180. They were so far behind in this lag, and what a moment to win a 180. They're on 236 and 240. Could be all over in six starts. Oh, good last start. If on the end they can find two travels here. That's one. Only one. Well, the score is the same. Hurl and Van de Bogart are first. Hurl first. One, four, three. Oh, that's not in, James. Maybe the 18 route. And one, one, eight now. So 100 left. Nigel Lloyd, one, three, six. That's a single. Maybe trouble 19 for tops. Only 58. Yeah, the pressure is on, guys. In the background, we see Danny Aldecalter and Wesley Pazia warming up for the next match. But let's focus on this one. Van den Bogart on 100. Yes, that's a trouble 20. Tops for the match. He has two darts. He takes his time. Tops. They were 2 0 down. Oh, single 20. That was a snatchy dart, a bit of a chizzy dart. Double ten, one dart to go. Yes, and he gets it. James Hurrell and Patrick van der Bogart after 2 no down. And they beat Nigel Lloyd and Raymond van Ende. What a game. There happened a lot on the TV stage, on the TV screen, but look at them. It means a lot to them. Patrick van der Bogart and James Hurrell are through to the next round.